why don't we take the city and push it somewhere else? All right, now we're gonna try Yuppie Psycho. It looks interesting. Why I picked it? <laughs> what was it? M for Mega or Mini and W for Wombo? Wombo or something? Game does not support auto save. Play the game to find out how to save. Of course. Oh, I have to click something. Mouse click. Enter. And the whole like lid thing, the lid, the lid, the lid, and it's just like you're going everywhere but the lid. And he's like, Stop! And he's like, You can't eat Warbird. And he like goes the opposite direction. He's like, Cold? Yeah, no, early SpongeBob is super quotable. <laughs> what did you say about Texas? Uh, I said it was big and stupid. <laughs> Sandy cheeks. Nope, I'm not at the wrong place. I should walk around. I'm a bit nervous. Maybe if I talk to someone. Uh, e. Talk to this lady. Hi, excuse me. The administration of an ordered branch's functional task is directly proportional to the product received from its contractual relationship to the net profit. There we go. She's, she's in the zone. Hi. You? You seem chill. Hello, I'm Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. If you don't mind, would you call me by my last name, Chapman? You know how big companies are with their formalities. Oh, excuse me, you should call me Pasternak then. Nice to meet you, Pasternak. Look at you, I think I can assume it's your first day at work. Just stay calm, it's normal to be a bit nervous. Yeah, I'm here because I got a letter. So, sorry to trouble you, but I haven't been able to stop staring at your outfit since you entered. What are you wearing? A suit? No, I mean, what designer? Who made it for you? Oh, I have no idea. I apologize for my bad manners, but that seems very peculiar to me. Do you not remember where you bought it? My mother got it for me at a supermarket? Supermarket. Excuse me, but what class are you? I'm class G, and you? Get away from me, vermin! How dare you talk to me, class G? Get out, go! Oh my god! This is the original Central Core headquarters, the mythical, nay, legendary building that gave birth to one of the greatest companies in the world. This company only hires the smartest, most qualified people at the international level. Students from the most prestigious universities are rejected by a handful for not making the grade. Candidates have proven experience. Fight for it now. Calm down, chat. I can't keep talking to you. Get out of here. Okay? Button to call just to be working. There's a camera on top. I guess someone's watching us. Hmm. Management executive garden, offices, hive, initiation, canteen, lobby. Sorry, initiation. Oh, she's not a uh, point in her speech. Hello, my name is Brian. Wow, you're very casual. My surname is Hicks, but you can call me Kate. That's right, sorry, I'm not used to this. Mine is Pasternak. No, no, call me K, it's more natural. Are you from the suburbs? Yes, I'm G-Class, I hope you don't mind talking to me. I guess you met the blonde guy, there's always a lot of very stuck up people working downtown. You're not from the capital? I was born in Class E, but my father got a job here, my family was able to ascend through the ranks. What is this world dynamic? How lucky, so how are you here because, so are you here because you got a job offer also? Yes, I finished college and passed all six entrance exams, I'm super excited. Six. I'm sure you know how hard it is to get a job here. There are thousands of candidates. I work in disaggregated analytics, by the way. What's your specialization? Uh, let me guess. Managing redundancy. Uh, 
Perhaps combine programs. Well, wait, wait. Network protocol systems? Management of vertical bases. Structural data calculus. No, I've only finished my basic studies. Oh. What am I even doing here? It's impossible for Class G to get a job at a company like this. That letter must have been someone's idea of a joke. Letter? Take a look. Brian, you have been selected for a role with the Instant Cox staff. This job upgrades your status to Class A category permanently. It was delivered to my house a week ago. I thought, I don't know. Now that I'm here, it's clear this was a mistake. What do you mean a mistake? You're directly secured a position at Center Park. To me, this sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Cheer up, man. But I don't have the proper education or... This is an important company. Surely they do a thorough scan of every student in the country. Maybe they saw great potential in you. Who knows? Please enter the elevator. Of course you don't. I can see from your face how ignorant you are. Why do I feel like he's gonna die? The higher you go, the more appreciated you are. The ninth floor, the managing directors, that's my destiny. Goodbye forever, beggars! It stopped on the second floor. He wasn't too important, I guess. Mr. Hicks, please enter the elevator. Oh, Miss Hicks, please enter the elevator. A bag of nerves. Good luck, Kate. Thank you, Brian. Meet again so I can invite you out for coffee. Oh. Floor four. She must have studied hard to get so high. Guess I could wait here until they call me. Unless that letter really was a joke. I hope it wasn't. What did I just dig through? The pamphlet reads every year Sintra Corps provides aid to millions of people in underdeveloped sectors via social work. Remember, there can be no growth without sustainability. That's true. I think I should show that letter to the camera. I can open my briefcase with I. Okay. Security camera, gentlemen or lady. I received this letter with my name. See, it says you've given me a job. Is this some sort of prank or hello? Came all the way for nothing. My first job in the capital after all, it's a long journey back home. Oh. Oh? Not even a like, hey, get over here. Are we going to the top floor? Hi, Blondie. Can I help you? Hi. Top floor? This has to be a mistake. Hold on, hold on. Is there a pause? Hold on, it's a cutscene. Okay, there's a pause. <gasps> Somebody gets treats and kisses. Yep. I want treats. <laughs> this blood? Looking like a lot of blood. K kill what? Kill the witch? Looks like a contract. I, Brian Pasternak, declare that I accept the job offered by Sintracor 
as described in the attached nexus, at which my salary will consist of 10,000 credits per day, plus bonuses for achievements and maintenance and promotion to Class A. That's a fortune. Wait. Wait, this could be a trick. Let me read these annexes. According to the pre-established norms of the jurisdictional doctrine currently in force, the job applicant agrees to provide his professional services in accordance with the classification system of Sindracor. By accepting this stipulated payment, the plaintiff accepts all subsidiary clauses within this document indefinitely or until termination of contract. This contract can be extended according to labor circumstances or at the request of the Trade Union Association. Acceptance of this contract entails a total of partial waiver privileges allowing individual integrity in favor of being promoted in social status as dictated by Resolution 1138. Uh-huh. I can't make heads or tails of this. Don't kill the witch hides. Come all this way, I can't go back now. Everyone would think I was just a coward. I'll sign it. Hell yeah. Deal with the devil? I'm sorry, what achievement? Wow, what just happened? I don't know. Oh, I signed it. Now what? Well, I got a job. Whatever. Some eccentricity of the big city, right? Singapore for is very important company, so who might have judged the value of this bloody art? It's probably cow blood. It must be worth millions. You know, honestly, that would be a really big power move to put blood art in your office and then to bring someone that you're hiring to that. They'll just be like, what the fuck? It's like, it's art, don't you know? And they'll be like, uh, this door? Don't worry, I'm sure you're safe, Tony. I'm supposed to go to six? I am on 10, Nina. What are you doing? You're on 10. Wait, where's eight? Pamphlet, exhibition in honor of the devil's blood. Garden, archives, offices, initiation. Maybe I have to go to two? Ooh, this is me running. As a man of wealth and taste. Uh. That looks complex. Introduce yourself as a man of wealth and taste. Do I just... This doesn't seem particularly useful. EX? Okay. Open. So go to a different floor. Oh, there's eight. Inside the building. You okay? Who could notice things like these? That the goblin likes to smoke as much as he likes cheese. The lights aren't working here. I'm definitely not going in there without a light. I'm gonna go. Someone's ripped this pain to shreds. The plaque reads, In honor of the Blessed Virgin. It's a multi-button screen. I think it's best not to touch anything. It's locked. I'll figure out where I need to go eventually. Hanging around where I'm not wanted. Currently have no money. So. Mm. All right, so six is unavailable. Which, uh oh. Oh. Looks like a blank page. Wait, it has a watermark. Oh, isn't that Centricor? I'll keep it in my briefcase. You got a mysterious sheet of paper. Good job, buddy. Hello, are you the new guy? 
Hello, my name is, um, Pasternak. My name is Pasternak. Nice to meet you, Briah Pasternak. No, no, it's just, it's a joke, man. I'm Hugo, your new workmate. I'm here to show you around. Sorry, I'm a little lost. I get you. If you come from the suburbs, a big city can take a lot out of you at first, but don't worry. You're in good hands. I'll show you how things work around here. Now, this is the fifth floor. Here we mostly perform management tasks, work with databases, well, you know, computer stuff. Uh-huh. There are a few offices and a meeting room, bathrooms in the back, and this is the reception desk, though the receptionist isn't here at the moment. Everyone here does their own thing. What's my job? Look at that guy coming in, for example. Hey there, partner. Let me introduce you to Pastor. See? He didn't even notice us. One guy even comes to work just so he can sleep. Come on, follow me. I'll show you our office. But again, what is my job? Is it to kill the witch or is it something else? Welcome to your new office. Right now it's a bit empty since a few of the employees are on sick leave, but... Look who's come out of her lair. There's another one of our co-workers, Sosa. Hi, I'm Pasternak. I love her. I think I'm in love. Yeah, she's a bit shy at first, but once she gets started with one of her stories, there's no stopping her. Let's get on with the tour. There's a water cooler, an important staple of our office. There's not much science involved, it's just free water. When it's empty, someone will have to come and refill it, which can sometimes take years. And here we have the cornerstone of any office, the coffee maker. We prepare a good amount of coffee every morning. What do you say we use a little to replenish our strength? Oh no, there's no coffee left. There's a legend that this office is home to a dark creature who never sleeps. They say she only drinks fresh coffee and never, ever prepares more when it's finished. Right, Sosa? I love her. So then, do you dare tempt the beast by making some more coffee? All right, what do I do? First, we need water and coffee powder. We should be able to find some in here somewhere. Okay. Cup of water. Documents. It's empty. So still hides in there sometimes. Can I plug it back in? Boss, better not bother him. Nothing here. Slice of bread? Okay, I got coffee powder. It was in the trash. Oh, I'll be fine. Blow on a little, work perfectly. Okay, now that you've got the magic ingredients, just turn on the coffee maker. Candy bar. <gasps> Dane Cook joke. Just piece of candy. Yes. Coffee gives you a much stronger energy boost than a plain cup of water. Water is really only good for showering. Well, I think that's all the basics. Do you have any questions? Um, what exactly is my job? Do you really want to start working already? You've only just arrived. Oh, I just realized I forgot to teach you one of the most important things about working here. The photocopier. You'll need both ink and paper to print copies with it. This one's already loaded. You can use this to print important pieces of data like quarterly figures or work documentation, but let's face it, those are lower floor tasks, aren't they? We here on the fifth floor can instead use this wonderful device to do fun things like photocopying our asses. What? Let's see if my ass portrait came out well. I think I should have done it double-sided. Come on, it's your turn. No, thanks. Come on, man, you understand how funny it is once you've got it. I guess you don't have to do your ass if you're embarrassed. Why not use your face instead? My face? But you just... You just sat on it. Bare cheeks. Oh no, it's out of paper. Oh well, what a pity. Another time. No, come on, man. You're the only one who could do these things with. So says a wuss and never dares. I can't believe we don't have any paper in our office. Is there something in your briefcase? I picked up a blank sheet off the floor earlier. Because you put your head inside the machine against the glass. 
Oh no. Oh no. Photocopied soul! What did I just do? Wow, this chair is shiny. What just happened? Witch paper. What? Well, well, I see you know how to take care of yourself, Pastor Nack. Wait! No, 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 no! So then what's my job? Like I said, if you really want to start working already, you can use the old computer next to you. Someone will, will relay your task. No, no, no. What is witch paper? What is, what is witch paper? I'm trying to turn on the computer. Unless he means this one. There's no power. I guess I'll just sleep. You need an ID card to access this machine. Hey. But the computer says I need an ID card? Ah, true. Mm. Normally they get sent to the boss's office. I'll see if yours is already in there. Hello? Mr. Pasternak? Yeah, it's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm your boss. Hugo told me you don't have your ID card. It seems there's been some kind of administrative error. I apologize. Oh, no, it's fine. Looks like they sent your ID card to another office. You have to go to Office D, which is on the same floor as yours. Office D. Got it. That seems easy enough. I know he said D, but I'm curious. <gasps> witch paper. I just want to know what witch paper is all about, man. Hi. It's horseshit. Why is that in the office? Ooh, that's scary. I'm gonna go. It's way too dark in here. Hello? <laughs> Something written on the floor. It's a trap. Oh. <laughs> I'm being assaulted. I avoid it. How... How avoid? Es explain to me. Oh, wow. So wait, is the photocopier how I save my soul? Go through this. Okay. Oh, is this one of those like you only have a certain amount of saves vibe? <laughs> 
You want a cup of my water? Sure. Okay, bye. Interesting. Hundred and fifty credits for a candy bar? Oh sweet, I just found thirty. Yeah, I know we found we just got a witch paper, but I'm like obviously so I don't have to do this again because I have a feeling I'm probably gonna die again. Let's see if my theory holds true that you need witch paper to save. try this again. So, four hits and you're down. I see. Got it. Hello? But do you know where the exit is? Oh my goodness, he's tied to the chair. What happened here? I'm gonna try untying you. I'm not sure I can help you just yet, but perhaps between the two of us we can find a way out of here. Okay, we got a cardboard box. Got a candy bar. Scoot over here. Okay. I don't know what why grabbing two cardboard boxes did that, but you know, I'll take it. Nothing interesting here. Really, like because I see a lot of interesting stuff. I don't see anything useful here. I love my guy. Take it easy. I'm sure there's got to be a way out in the back. Run. Something written on this wall. Run. Hold shift. Get out of here as soon as possible. Uh. 
God, go! Climb, climb through these air vents. Y'all got something. <laughs> Did you get your ID badge? What's going on at this company? Hey, you! Get back here, Sosa! Please, we need to call for help. Boss. Boss? I'm going to tell the boss. Hello? Hugo, what's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. A monster, there's a monster in the office. A what? I went to Office D and it was, I don't know, a nightmare. I think I understand. That monster you think you saw is actually a fellow who went a little crazy a few weeks ago and locked himself in his office. No, what happened in there isn't normal. There was a guy tied to a chair and dozens of employees hanging from the walls. We gotta tell someone. Well, man, I don't think there's anything like that going on in here. I swear there were coffee makers and monitors flying through the air. Nah, don't tease me, Pastor Nack. Besides, why'd you go into that office anyway? We blocked it off with a piece of furniture to avoid any problems. Well, the boss called me and told me I'd find my ID card there. Huh? Your ID card's right here on the table. They're always left here. But wait. This office is a total mess and... What are you doing sitting in the boss's chair? Oh, did I not tell you? There aren't any bosses at this company. There's not a single one in the entire building. What? I know it sounds a bit weird, but they've all gone crazy and left in most cases. Our last boss locked himself up in this office for years until one day he just ran away. Who knows where? Stress, perhaps. Wait, but if there's no boss, who called me? Just some joker, I suppose. Stop worrying about it. It'd be best if you took your ID card and started work as soon as possible. Oh, did I say work? Well, don't try to do too much. You wouldn't want to go crazy like that monster. You got your ID card. There's nothing interesting here. I've never used one of these machines before. Oh. Like a treat since you're very late for the redeem? Yes. Welcome to Stratocore. Welcome to Cindracore. Are you gonna kill me? Remain calm, I will not hurt you. What is all this? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cintra. I am in charge of guiding you through your new job. Okay, but what's this green world? A second ago, I was in the office. You are connected to Cintranet, our corporate interface. Here you can track your tasks, receive messages from your colleagues, and consult me on any topic. Point of interest, you just received your first message. If you wish, you can read it by activating it. Welcome to Cindracore, Mr. Pasternak. I hope your time here will be prosperous, productive, and lasting. 
You sent this message to me, right? Correct. Hi, Blondie. If you are agreeable, I will proceed to explain the responsibilities your occupation entails. I like your outfit. You thoroughly studied the contract you signed earlier, correct? Oh, uh, well, actually it was so long and there was a lot of unfamiliar words. I kind of got lost. Do not worry, I will parse the information from it myself. According to the pre-established norms of the... Yep, the, yep. Yep, that's the stuff we read. Big, big words. Excuse me, could you just tell me my responsibilities directly? Of course. Focus of your work at Sintra Corp is on a single goal. Exterminate the creature called witch. What? Exterminate the creature called... Yeah, I heard you, but I have to kill a witch? That's a joke, right? You've been hired as a witch hunter. Okay. Okay, look, I'm not sure what's going on at this company, but I don't think I went to want to hunt anyone. A witch? Seriously? I will now describe the details of your work. No, I don't want to know. This has definitely been some sort of mistake. The icon marks your first task. Locate Hexenhammer. How do I get out of here? Please, Mr. Pasternak, allow me to finish my explanation. I will show you the way out. Thank you. Library on the seventh floor. best if you found someone else to take my place. I'm sorry to hear you say that. You are free to leave at any time. If you would like to disconnect from the system, please activate the output icon. Alright, let's go. I have one last important warning to give you. Your work here is confidential. You cannot disclose to anyone your status as a witch hunter or its related responsibilities. In the eyes of your partners, your work will consist of consulting on systems and databases. What? In the interest of being your, in your own well-being, I hope you will not reveal this secret. See you soon. Hi, hey, hey! I guess I'm going to the seventh floor. somewhere in the library. Getting a book shouldn't be too dangerous. I've never had to be afraid of going to the library before. Here's the thing, though. I haven't saved in a hot minute, so I am concerned that if I die, you know. The book is in the library, okay. Anyone seeking to borrow a book from the library will need to present a copy form with all the relevant data filled in and sealed with the reference code of Cintracor, all documents can be found in the archives. Let's see, title, year, publication, author, and publisher. Well, at least I know the title. I need to find the rest in the archive. Let's go into the archives, please. the ink cartridge before I can use it. On this topic, I can tell you only the very little that I have discovered. They call them witch papers and they can be identified by their snake watermark. Rumor holds that they're cursed, but they still offer several benefits. One of the more common is the ability to photocopy a soul. The spirit is saved. Should you do this before dying, you'll reappear the moment you made the photocopy. Mm -hmm. Got a witch paper. Publishers, all right. Got a pencil. 
cup of water. This triangle. Ink. Oh, thank God. I was like, ah, I need to save. Poor guy. Does that mean someone could, in theory, burn the witch papers? And you would, like, lose your save? There's a letter here. It reads, Everything's computerized now and nobody works at the archives anymore. I've not seen the old owl man for years since then. This has stopped being a safe place. Nobody believes me, but I have seen something sinister ruining the bookcases. Found it on the corpse. You can't imagine the things that people keep in their briefcases. This is like hexenhammer, so yeah, it could be anywhere. Yeah, the triangle. Ah, and the square. But I can't reach it from here. Can I not climb the shelf? Okay, let's hit a fuse. Okay, well, it was triangle square. So that could be either triangle square square, triangle square circle. Square, square. Ooh, position of the triangle matters too. Okay, good to know. paper, I'll take it. Triangle. Got it. And whichever section they're in. Okay. Hold on, we got up triangle square. There was a dark area over here. Another corpse. What is that? I think that's a mine. She was looking for the same book as me. All right, author A2. Okay, hold on. Duh. Look at that. Same. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I think it's telling me seven. Damn it. Okay. 
A2. I was just an A2. And then it brought me to A7. I think I can. Oh, come on. Aha! Careful. That's a red. From 1973. Reunites with their new development plan in robotics and computing. They are spiders, painted in blood, because of course they are. Alright, so, triangle's up and there's a square. Got it. Slice of bread. Packets of coffee. Yeah, I see him. Ooh, soda. Oh, that's probably the fuse. An aluminum foil. I wish I knew what they did, but I'm sure the game will tell me. Alright, do I use a witch paper now, or do I hope I don't die? Alright, triangle, square, triangle. And they're both pointing up. See it. Somebody offering help in this company is one of two things, a rookie or a liar. I see, you're poor and miserable, like me. I also came from the suburbs. I worked as an electrician, like my father and my grandfather before me. I suppose you already know how hard it is, how few resources there are. But when the red letter arrived... I see, it turns out that in addition to being a rookie, you are also a liar. Then you also... Listen, you seem like a good kid. I don't want to frighten you. Can I help you out? Um... Light? The light's on upstairs. Anything made of metal, so long as it fits. Check the items in your briefcase carefully. You can get a look at the information. You can look at them up. Okay. Things on the ground which explode. Been caught out by several of those mines. Yeah, back thing? You mean to kill them? They're not machines, more like mutant spawn. 
I've seen dead ones, so there must be a way to kill them, but I don't know it. You know anything about this book? I managed to find half the info I needed for the form, but one of those damn mines blew up and set the stupid thing on fire. So do you know where I can find the rest of the data? Didn't you see the sign at the entrance? It tells you which room each piece of information's in. I'll be get well soon. So I'm assuming the sandwich with aluminum is what I'm gonna be shoving in here. A look. Very sharp and pointy pencil. Cheese sandwich wrapped in foil. Sandwich. Is is it the sandwich? I use the foil wrapper. I'm glad it worked. Don't know how to kill them yet. Video club? Hello. Hi, my name is... I can't hear you. Oh. I'm listening, you don't need to shout. Uh, you know anything about these mines and ground? Pencil. What? Yes. Do, do you mean that you use a pencil to kill them or that you need a pencil to tell me how to kill them? I'm not listening to you, I'm watching a movie. Have you heard of a book called Hex and Hammer? I thought that maybe worked on the floor, you could help me. Alright. Thank you. Pencil. Hmm. It's a, it's a tape player, it works with cassette tapes. Oh, and that's where the that tape room comes into play. Got it. Okay, I have room for two more tape stabs. Jeez, that sounds. Baby. What? If you want to go, you can. You know how to fight from room. You don't need me. You want pets? Is that it? <gasps> Two pencils. Let's go. Ed Ustin Verlag. Okay. Need to protect dog from Vroom Vroom. Vroom Vroom's not even in my room. There's like something blocking it, so I'm like. Hello? Something just opened. Is that Hugo? Don't you dare. <sighs> what an a hole pass. 
Apparently at some point I was supposed to find more ink. Alright, well, I'm petting Cass with one hand right now, so... Look again, because it's triangle, square, triangle. I'm my hand is on your face. What more do you want? Let's see. I'm actively petting you. I don't see any that have two triangles in a square. Triangle, triangle, circle, triangles, triple triangle again, triangle and X, triangle and circle again, triangle and X, and then I see square, square, but I'm like, no, it's two triangles. That's three triangles. Ooh, there's one. It's square, triangle, triangle, but maybe that's the one, so that's second row, right? Repress. Sense my hunger. Maybe she's projecting. One, four, eight, six. That's not concerning. want to save because we've done so much but I'm like I feel like we'll be okay but I'm like I don't know I got like a feeling you know I'd rather just have it than not I feel like that's A7, so I went to A7. Oh, maybe that's B1. Oh my god, I totally misread it, didn't I? Oh, I mean, that's not B1. Up the stairs. Oh, I see. I could kill them, but I'm like, I can also just... The spider moved! The spider moved! No, thank you. Get out of here. Just waiting for 
for something to bust out and chase me, you know? Seems, seems like that kind of game. Alright, we don't need to save, because... Limited saves. Alright, we'll give it to you. my office and talk to her. Hello. Okay. hear what someone's written obscenities on the canteen whiteboard again okay let to go what hello came by keyboard on the computers and that the mouse click click is everything all right do you know what your responsibilities are? Um, management of members? Do you know where he is? He left a while ago. Hey. Has anyone talked to you about her yet? Her? Yes, you already know. Uh, I don't. Of the... Which... No, that doesn't ring any bells. Well, you have to be very careful. Know something about this? Careful, she is everywhere. This company is like an apple that fell from the tree. Looks normal on the outside, but it's rotten on the inside. She's the worm that lives inside it, and if it catches you, if she catches you, you will become one of her children. Oop, I did not mean to hit that. Oh, there it is. Was it him? I feel like it was him in the frog mask. Do you already have the goth club card? Goth club? All those weird things, horror films, role-playing games, comic books. She even started a geek club called Video Club Mysterio. Careful, she might kidnap you and take you to their secret lair. There's only two members. I met the other one. How's tricks? I see that you're still working. Are you already adapting to the company? Were you in the archives just now? Past Nick, it's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, workmate. Listen, we're gonna take a break later and I have a bit of a party. What do you think? Oh, uh, well, Steve, be here later. This work is very hard. Come on, man, cheer up. You have to stay. Everyone ends up staying. So it was him. It was him. Oh, I got the yawns today. I have been staying up a lot lately. I beg your pardon? What's this swing doing here? It is an application focused on rest and relaxation. Don't you want to try it? Want to talk to you about that book you want me to find? I found all the data and filled in form. You will need a sonscrogram skill that I myself can provide. The final form is now printed in your office. It will be available to collect once you log out, etc. Thank you. Tell me about the children. Do you know anything about them? Um, children of the witch? I'm sorry, I have no records of anything named witch's children. Why do you ask? Someone warned me about them? The witch has been hiding this company and spreading corruption for decades. Most of my predictions sh show that she's likely to have affected every person's company to some degree. With particularly weak-willed individuals possibly falling completely under her sway, you should be careful. Correct. From the company's maxims, some employees may be in league with the witch. So there are people here helping out the witch. 
It's entirely possible that she could be one of your co-workers. It's advised that you refrain from revealing to the witch that you are hunting her. Can I run the swing? <gasps> Wee! How do I get off it? Okay. Remind all new employees that the weekly motivational talk with Colonel Dumont will begin at 11 a.m. Your presence is requested in meeting room C. Thank you. We believe in a holistic approach to employee engagement and take a proactive stance towards the empowerment of the social and collaborative qualities of our employees using motivational talks. Okay. Sorry, I keep telling you. I should have taken the food I ate earlier with wake me up, but I guess not. No, you don't get coffee, Sosa. It said C. I mean, I could pop over real quick. Doesn't doesn't hurt anybody to check it out. Wasn't that the horseshit room? Is this the motivational talk? really just ah it had me come here to look at horse shit is this motivational let's try to get into the library another reason i can't quit now i just saved i was like oh, i can't save now and leave i have to go to the library Or unequipped quickly with T and Y. Pencil. The flashlight is almost out of batteries, but still kind of works. Got a red book. And a book stand. Oh, owl man. It's an owl on it. It's got wheels that can push it easily. Got the yellow one. Kind of bad just kicking that owl. It's got three batteries. Who knows how long that's gonna last. Okay, careful with pushing buttons, Nina. I got a blue book. This thing totally got shoved. The display cabinet is locked. Green, red, blue, yellow is 13, okay? Oh, and then 
Blue is eight. is two. Okay, but how do I get the green one? crash the owl into it? Is that what you're telling me? Green is... 12. Perfect. And 13. Did I do it right? Okay. It says, My friend, I would not trust any member of this company more so now as it slowly destroys itself. Anyone may be one of her children, and there's no way to know. We three are all who could be trusted. Signed, AM. With the dagger in the hands of the crow, I pray that this nightmare ends. Now I leave in your hands the report of his progress. You could not have sent worse news. We must hide as soon as possible and delete any record of our names. If she discovers our identities, we are lost. A.M. I don't want to save before I touch anything. I don't know what's going on, but I want to save. This seems like a perfect save moment, you know? I cannot let you take the old man's favorite book. <laughs> Excuse me! You spit acid by any chance? I'm so glad I saved. Wait, so he can plant bombs? I do My little ones get scared. Okay, 
Okay, so I know I can use the carts to distract them. So I don't get hit. But how does that help me kill him? Nope, it went off. I see. It's what I think it is. I have to have him near his own bombs and shove a cart. Got it. Got it. Now the next question is, do I stop here for the day? Even though it's really weird, because it'd be a really short stream, but I'm like, I'm just really tired and I'm hungry again even though I had a pizza I had a waffle and I had a sandwich I'm really super hungry today and I'm almost curious if the bros want to go eat something another piece of food perhaps <sighs> da, 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 da. Hmm. Right? Like, I'm just stupid hungry. I don't know why. Let's try again. Let's, let's try to try to get the practice in. And if I get the practice in, you know, you're gonna have to keep playing because, you know, I have so many... How many do I have? I have two. You have two witch papers. Yeah, it's like the weird thing, like, I'll just get these random days of just, like, intense urge to eat, and I'm like, I don't need to eat. I I very clearly had food. I am, I am sufficiently nourished. But the body's like, no, you gotta eat. And I'm like, I think you're just craving masala wok fried rice, man. That shit's expensive. I'll do it then, set down your babies. that one. Oh, here he comes. There we go. Got him once! Early. Ah, fudge, that hurts. <laughs> oh, 
I was like, did I do it? But I was like, no, no, he's... Wait, did I do it? Oh my god, if he did it, that'd be amazing. Yes? Goodbye? Okay. Gotta read a flashlight. I am the injured. Is this what the cup of wadi wadi? Cup of water is for. Other things to make meals. Add two slices to some cheese to make a sandwich. Covers a moderate amount of health. Covers some health. Covers a bit and a bit. I guess a bit? And a cup of water? Wow, that was like nothing. Oh, my tummy. Just gonna get an idea of how long the yuppie cycle is. So I guess I should make coffee because it's health. Got the book. Excellent work. No, 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 no more. Something wrong? Look, Sentra, I'm just. So, I've just come face to face with the kind of mechanized manspire that was throwing bombs with eyes at me, and there was a mummy in the dark, and. Well, this isn't for me. I'm not gonna fit in here. I thought this was gonna be a normal office job, you know, checking papers, going out for coffee at mid morning. I understand how you feel. We know that this is not an easy task, and that you have a special responsibility within the company. On behalf of Centricor, I would like to convey our full confidence in your capabilities. I'd also like to inform you that I personally see great potential in you. The fact that you've got the book just proves it. Ah, thank you very much. Let me remind you that your efforts are not overlooked at Centricor. As a reward for your work, you will receive a bonus of a thousand credits. <gasps> Hi, Diggins! Hi, Kian! How you doing today? If you like, let's have a look at the contents of this book. Reading completed. This is a book from the 15th century which was created to identify and hunt witches. As language has changed since then, I will summarize the relevant details. First, where to find a witch. Well, I hope you're having a good day at the job site. Witches make their lairs in places which have a deep meaning or a bond to their lives. Although their hiding places are often separated from urban centers, thanks to their human appearance, they can infiltrate nearby communities with few issues. How to recognize a witch. Witches are those women who have made a pact with the devil. They transform and manipulate men, steal babies to raise them as their own children, and fly with the aid of a broom. Although they spend most of their existence alone, they usually have several acolytes or followers. Among them, there are the so-called familiar spirits, companion animals that carry out their orders. Any woman can be a witch, since one of their powers is trans... Integration? The ability to swap bodies with another. Yeah, I was like, no, it's not witches, but okay. And finally, how to kill a witch. Although fire is the most effective method or to eradicate majority of witches, there are tales of exceptionally powerful witches throughout history who have proven to be immune to flames. According to my records, in fact, our witch was burned alive several decades ago. However, her curses continue to spread throughout the company. So, updated. According to the book, the only way to put an end to the most powerful witch witches is to use a special ritual dagger called Atami. Atami? Atami. This weapon of great power can also have a deterrent effect, warding witches away from the wielder. This all sounds like a fairy tale. 
I'm a fan of burning everything. Me too. What do you mean? Well, everybody knows witches don't exist, and if they really existed, I don't think they'd fly on a broom. They're hardly aerodynamic, and it would be so uncomfortable. I mean, you want me to go question women all over the company and try stabbing them with a knife? I'm pretty sure that would also kill people who aren't witches. It's clear, really clear, that something strange happens in this company. But I doubt very much that the problem we solved by using a witch hunting guidebook from 500 years ago? Can't you see that doesn't make any sense? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to put my life on the line for this again. I'm just going to go to my office, and I'll sit in my chair, and I won't disturb anyone. You are sitting in your office right now. I'm sorry, is that a horse? What was that? There is an event planned. Leave the session as soon as possible. Wait, is is the horse the, the motivational talk? Remember not to reveal your real job to anyone. Wait, did you call me Brian? Help! <laughs> Jesus Christ! You! What are you still doing here? Oh, this, yep, this is the motivational talk. It's that which is On my dear, get your ass to the meeting room! Come on, come on, come on! What are you? We are the lowest of the low. I doubt it. What are you? We're garbage! My horse ass smells better than you do! You're shit, but what should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. And what are, how are you gonna achieve this? With our work. I don't want your dirty work. What else do you have? Our blood. <laughs> Let's see, Mr. Hugo, come closer. Hugo, what are you? I'm the lowest of the low. Well, I didn't know the lowest smelled like a sewer. It's because I'm garbage. That describes you better. What should you be? The best. What? The best of the best. I see it. How do you intend to achieve this? With my work. But you're a bob, Mr. Hugo. What else do you have? With my blood. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You can go back to your place. Today, I want to talk to you about something very important. A legend that you all know. I want to tell you about the witch. The witch is among us, comrades, and she has the form of a woman. I don't consider myself sexist. <laughs> but it's like that. It's a fact. It could be that the lady you chat with about the weather in the elevator, the girl you drink coffee with... Lend pens too, or maybe you send her a fax in triplicate. But Colonel, everyone knows witches aren't real. Oh yeah? Yeah? Let me tell you something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Dad and I were in the canteen, chatting with friends, having a snack. They were our well-earned 15 minutes of rest. When I realized, sacre bleu, it was more than half an hour since we came down. We had to get back to our job as soon as possible. We don't get paid for drinking coffee. We all crowded into the elevator and hammered the button to our floor, hoping that the evil machine would move faster. The elevator went up to our floor at a turtle's pace, and just before the doors opened, Quail Mashan! The elevator was blocked. No matter how hard we pushed it, the doors wouldn't open. I tried in vain to calm us all down. These setbacks are normal. It was only a matter of time before it worked again, but the truth was, I didn't succeed. My desire to get out of there and reach my destination grew exponentially every second. Not just me. I saw Dada suffer from the same exasperated anguish. Something ran up my spine. Silky lips! A woman's lips! Kissed me on the cheek, and in that very moment, the lights went out. Without light, people exploded into chaos. Everybody started shouting, pushing, shoving, hammering on the doors to get out. And then we heard a sound. Like a razor blade cutting through the eyeball. That sharp sound went through my entire nervous system. At that moment, we all knew what death had come to take us away. But they would have to be unconscious and their mind's eye not open. You completely incapacity immobilized, you can do whatever to kill them. Yeah. But she, the witch, was among us. Around me, I began to hear the cries of pain from my companions. It was a slaughterhouse. I couldn't believe this was happening to me. Mon Dieu! Pourquoi? I cried. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Then a miracle happened. The doors opened and let the heavenly light from my floor enter. This caused Dada to awaken from the trance. And like an unconscious spark, he took great, took a great leap out of the elevator and escaped from that nightmare. <laughs> Is your horse, Dada? A great sigh of relief came from our lungs. We were safe. But just before the doors closed, covering up that whole massacre, icy lips hissed their way up my spine again. This time to my ears. And they whispered three words to me. Three words I'll remember all my life. Work. 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 What did she say to me? <laughs> work. 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 <laughs> I hope you learn not to loiter in the canteen or you know what's waiting for you. All right, all right, all right. 
You lot are looking good today. Now then, I think we have a new recruit. Yeah, you. You. What's your name, boy? Uh, my name is Pasternak. Okay, do you see this horse? The horse is Dada. Yeah, sure. His name is Dada, and he replaces all my virile impotence. I don't have to prove anything. When I'm on Dada, I have a superior being. I'm Charlemagne. Oh, no. Okay. But you, though down there, you're nobody. If you don't make yourself notice, if you don't stand tall and push out your chest and scream like a man hunting a mammoth, if you don't... Look, come closer. <laughs> Drop that briefcase! You don't need to hide behind any shields. Be a man, for God's sake. Well? Well? Your name? Oh, yes, my name is Pasternak. Pasternak. Did you know that your last name is of Jewish-European origin? Uh, no. It means parsnip. From this moment on, that will be your new name. Boy, I see you need motivation. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm super motivated. With each failure, you lose 200 credits. What? Parsnip, what are you? I'm the lowest of the low. Yuck, my horse can't stand your stench. I'm garbage. What should you be? The best. What? I didn't hear you right. The best of the best. And how do you tend to achieve that? With my work. That's not enough, Parsnip. What else you got? My blood. Well, well, well. Since you're new, I'll give you a motivational task for your initiation. You don't have to, really. It's all right. It's a favor I'm doing for you. You sure need a little push. What could it be? Let Dad Dad choose, Colonel. Like in the old days. What a great idea. Let Dad Dad decide. Let's see, Dada. On what motivational task can we send the parsnip? Oh, what a great idea! Is this for real? Sacre bleu! Dada has been benevolent in giving you an easy task. Pastor Jack, you'll have to make a friend in the office, but... But what office? There's a lot of them in the building. Colonel, I thought I heard... It must be someone from the fourth floor, from the hive. Splendid. In this way, synergies will be generated between floors. Dad, Dad, my friend, you're a genius. Is that clear to you, Parsnip? I have to make a friend in the hive? Perfect. And that concludes today's motivational session. Now get to work. Okay. Okay. Parsnip. Not my name. Left a briefcase. Thank you. Still a little out of the sorts after everything that just happened. <gasps> Bye, Diggins. Have fun at work. Be safe. And let me know if you have any food ideas. Because I don't. If the horse trick the colonel's mad as a hatter, who knows where he would have sent you. Also, human resources are in the hive. Make a friend there and you know, you know they might raise your salary or they might even change your job. I'll see you around. Thanks. You go. Costs 150 credits. Okay, pencils. Pencils cost 100. Cardboard costs 250. I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. If you want to buy something, take it and leave the money. Okay. Again, can't hear you. Ooh, I can sell supplies? Ooh. And I know I need three boxes to get into a vent. So unless I absolutely need it, I probably shouldn't. Because I... Don't have that much money. The hive is four, right? Let's see how much stuff there is. Oh, there goes Kate. Kate's a friend. Sorry, who's crawling? What? Hey. Oh! Hello. This is not the place to talk. We are under surveillance. Is that really true? 
Nobody can see us together. We will find you for your evaluation later. Until then, pretend. I'm, I'm just looking for my friend Kate. What is happening here? Why are y'all on the floor? Easy peasy, I'm under the table. Okay. <laughs> they hardly ever see you here. You won't wait a while for the danger to go away and then continue working as if nothing had happened. Get in one of those closets. Oh. I know it's all a little weird, it's a little weird for me also, but as business school they always told us that we had to be positive and proactive. And if we were to give up so quickly on our first job, we may not be taken seriously in the next month. Uh, you told me I had to come to the fourth floor and make a friend. You can be... 3,000 photocopies to organize. Do a horse chore? This is the latest trend in yoga while you're working. Four employees are missing. They must all be somewhere on this floor. Go throw a tantrum. Good marketing slogans and use those to convince them to follow you, but keep in mind that each person is different and has different tastes. Bring them here when you've convinced them. So I'm guessing the ones that I saw crawling. That one. It hurts so much. What's wrong with you? How do I get in there? How do I get in there? There's no way out. There's no way out. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Wow, rude. The travel magazine.
dead. He's a briefcase, but it's locked with the combination. Well, this has to go. Thank you. Come, come here. Okay, I guess I have to wait for him to calm down before I attack him again. wires go get out of here I'm not a very good employee am I giant printer it's toxic it looks toxic yep it's toxic She's the work one, but I don't know how to get in there. It's like completely boxed in. I'm wondering if I have to go through the desk. Raw pizza? Electronic piece? Maybe the person working will like it? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Okay. It's good to spend a few t tears every couple of minutes. That's not good. Let's try this again. I come in through that angle? Hold on. Aha! Now, before I do this and possibly die. Hawaii, Bombay, Paradise. Alright, come with me. so much they take them everywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to work. I'm not sure what other where I can find the other motivational thing. Oh! 
I'm sorry. Oh, don't don't touch their desks, Nina. My bad. cups of water. I'm afraid to talk to anybody. I I don't want to die. I'm a I'm afraid to talk to anybody. Here, let me to do. I found something else that I'm supposed to do apparently on the fifth floor. So we're gonna go do that real quick. So they're like, this is important for later, and I'm like. trying to growl at the tape and stuff. Save my battery. This. Most holy AM. She would heal me. But that's just me. Hello? Didn't mean to. Just, just smoke it. I want to tell you something, okay? Don't hurt me. I haven't saved and I'm weak. It's a secret. Can you get closer? It's cutscene. It's not me. Cover up a little, please. I know something about toads. Toads? Did you know that toads lay their eggs in plants? I thought they put them in the water like frogs. Well, I've seen some around here putting them in the plants. Can I go now? That was... I didn't count her. Also go do a human thing myself. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I tried to go into the kitchen to like see if maybe I could like trick my body into like picking something. That didn't work. Okay. Not this. Guy. I have a guide open for this. Oh, the tea. Nope, that's poison. No. Where's our? Anarchy guy. He said, make your diet your best medicine. He told me to make these meals replace, take these meal replacement pills. Make your diet your best medicine. Okay, so that's one slogan. Oop, the blue screen. Taking the book from my idiot partner, stop by my cubicle. Briefcase 981. Cool. So that. This apparently is the other one. Phrase. That's it. It's up here, right? That's where the briefcase was. It's a self-help book. Swallow your anger. Pretend. Is he swallow your anger? Figure out who, who takes what. Waste basket batteries. Raw pizza, electronic piece. Filled with poison gas. I follow this. I'm supposed to find a briefcase with an ink cartridge. This one, right? Okay. We did the travel brochure. Okay, pencils. Pencils destroy. 
Got the combination. All right, now that you have all four slogans, it's time to find them. Okay. Swallow. Okay, so this one apparently is swallow. I've done a lot of work, so I'm just gonna candy bar this. Come here. He says Gur, so I feel like that's the one. All right, let's go. Nope, come here. Come here. Save battery. No, come here. We're growing up, people. Let's go. Got him. My goodness. He's in. Okay. So that was our chair boy is next. Wait till we're further. Goat. The goat one's next. Wait. Where are we at? I'm trying to help here. Diet is the best medicine, right? Getting that goat off my back. You want to chew through all the wires. You can call me Doshi. I'm the IT guy. Trying to keep the best components. Oh, it's late. I have to leave before the Matrix wakes up. Matrix? The dot Matrix, man. Are you new? Yeah, I started today. Well, you better catch up with the local fauna, man. Here, welcome present. I have a workshop on the third floor. If you drop by later, maybe I can show you some super cool stuff. Oh, sweet. Peace, dude. We got another ally, that's good. Come on, my friend. It's weird that they call him goat, but well. Damn it. Damn it. Good job. Look at that, everybody. Something happened. I tried to catch her, but it was impossible. She got into HR, it's a door on the corner. slogans she always goes there to get a new job HR girls are a little cheeky I told you about you won't have a problem are you telling me I have to possibly run away am I get assaulted hold on am I gonna get assaulted da, 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 da. it's locked let me guess climb this climb onto the empty closet <laughs> Yoga? Best answer. <gasps> Screwdriver. There's a clipping from the Society magazine. Was the recent funeral of the heiress of the Sintra fortune part of a cover-up? Unofficial sources seem to believe so, as they've been un unable to ac access the autopsy report so far. Ooh. Is the little robot person based off the heiress? Just gonna open the door. 
And there she goes. Because I only have had the one, right? Yeah, I only had the one. Uh, should I save? I mean, I have four. I'd rather save. I'm so worried. But I saw the save in there, so I feel like, you know, it's like, hey, you better save. Nothing though. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad I saved. that table. Excuse me. Maybe I can lure her over here. Slice of cheese, you say? I don't know how to add it. Hello? I don't know, I don't know. Is it bothering you? Do you know anything about resumes? Well, you can't help me then. Come back when you know something. What's that? Should I be reading a guide right now? I could have moved that filing cabinet to block the spit. Grab that briefcase, and that's about it. You're afraid of me. One? Are you the witch? I'm just a friend who wants to help you. I have a clue, a clue about her. Very important clue about the witch's identity. Mm -mm. Nope, don't trust it. The delicious mouth doesn't want to taste me. Isn't that what we all want? The pleasure of being desired, getting recognition from your company, promotion, but the mouth doesn't love us all equally. Some of them are savored for a while, and then she spits them out. She didn't even spit on me. But I can't give up. They say there's a way to trick her. There's an object, a magical symbol that she can't resist. 
Some say it's a figure of voodoo magic. If you wear it, she'll notice you. She'll want you. She'll pull you in. But if you don't have it, she can't see you. She doesn't love you. That makes me very sad because she doesn't love you. That little paper man? The slogan for my resume. Resumes have slogans? Sure, how could you get here with that one? With the number of resumes they have to read every day in human resources, the most important thing is the first sentence, the initial slogan. I have a perfect one. Take a look at it. Lick me and let me explode inside your mind. It's perfect, don't you think? Uh, I maybe, uh, it's a bit direct. What do you know? You don't even know. Resumes should have slogans, bumpkin. Question. So many questions. Shaped like a person's silhouette. Okay, so hold on. So don't, the game says don't go near the mouth. I'm gonna trust it on that and be like, yeah, I'm not gonna go near the mouth. Candy bar. Extra responsibilities, same salary. No more marketing. I... Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Let me go talk to the resume guy, cause the guide says to do that, and honestly, I don't want to die. No more slogans. Just be yourself. You think the mouth will like it? Okay. No more slogans. Come on. Let's get you out of here. What? Marketing employee. gonna sacrifice her? What? the photo. Oh, interesting. All right, let's get the marketing girl back. Come on. Take your trophy. Oh, Jesus. Time to go. Out of here. Whew. Here's your here's your marketing. Please work mate, would you mind getting back to the others? Able to handle everything, no problem. Help me with my tasks, it's only fair that I help me with yours. Sleep on a horse. 
I asked to come to the store to make a friend, and well, I thought maybe. Ooh, ooh, ooh! They told me they always leave their office at the end of the month, but it's too early. I don't understand. I think I better get back to my office. I have to give something important to a workmate. Alright, see you later. Just have to get back to the elevator now. Go, go, go! safe work environment at all. What? Hold on. The guide is telling me something. Missable third floor achievement. Before returning to the fifth floor and showing Sintra the family photo, head down to the second floor and speak with Chapman. This will allow you to challenge the initiation test mini games, complete them all to unlock access to third floor surveillance. Enter surveillance, be sure to interact with all the surveillance camera stations side to view the camera footage. Watching all footage will allow you to unlock a hidden achievement, but some footage will no longer be available once you hit. So it's just, just, just achievements? It seems to be just achievements. Do it! Just do it! I don't want to do it in our boat. Also, another first floor. Because apparently there's another shrine there. I don't want to go paint my shrine. Get down here. Give me all the water. What I do need to do, I do need to get food. Yes. Slice of cheese. <gasps> Giant burger pizza. Bro, the first floor is the best! This is how you make cheese sandwiches. Got it. What's up, Mr. Marshall? You got a pencil. Thank you. I think I said the screwdriver fixes it. Point this? Once inside the residence hall on the second floor. Oh, be warned that you need to get the poison gas contract first in order to safely explore that area. West of the washrooms. Oh. Pretty much it just said that like once you do it, you're gonna achieve it. Okay, so this is achievement stuff. It's not like actual game mechanics. What is the empty cereal box? I should know about this floor. Adobo, are you still unredacted, Manitoba? Or are you just chilling at work now? Second floor. Bye. Oh god. I don't I don't like this vibe. Oh bad. Like the ink cartridge though, I'll take that. Chapman? Furnish the trash. 
It's none of your business. I mean, most of Canada's middle of nowhere. True, but you know, a dubbo being redacted. Top of the floors. The family Chapman. Why should change floors? The elevator's right there. What? What game? You manage to win, your badge is automatically upgraded, and you can move to the next floor. I'm not sure the rules, and you know what they say. Businessmen never participates in a game without knowing the rules. The art of war. Okay. I'm at a different redacted Manitoba. Oh, nice. Wow. Surprise, surprise. He wants me to do it for him. No. Hey, I found useful stuff, so, mm. Nope, that's a gas, that's a fan. Can't you... Get me out of here. Get me out of here. No third floor yet? Where in the world is a double San Diego? This is a Doshi's floor. <gasps> Got a slice of bread. Got back here. But don't go near that door. Oh, hey, dude, good vibes. Just don't go near that door. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's up, Doshi? You wanna talk? No? Oh, hello. Hey, what's up, dude? Uh, can we see what you're doing around? Well, welcome to Electronic Garbage Paradise, buddy. Here I fix a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I also like to collect components for, well, modifying things or doing my experiments. But hey, that's a secret. No one helps you? Well, yeah, there used to be more, but between this and that, work-related accidents and the uh, order of the day, you know what I mean, don't you? Your only hint is that it's a French name. <sighs> that's... Really difficult. You could be in any different amount of countries. Years and no one says a word. Sure. Get all that old witch stuff out of your head. Okay. We sell supplies. Batteries. Oh, he sells ink cartridges. Oh, thank goodness. Paper? Yeah. This art and technology fuse together in the form of plastic tubes that illuminate for hours and hours. I'll give you them so you can try them. <gasps> he gave me free glow sticks! with other things. Jewelry I want to fix? Give you a good reward. Matted red plate electronic components. Ooh. I think I have one of those. Flashlight. You're in there. You got a modified flashlight. Now you have a bigger, much cooler beam of light. <gasps> yes! Let me see this thing. Oh, look at that beautiful beam. 
amazing. I'm in love. Over a thousand cameras are watching out for your safety. Smile. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Alright, let's see. Pillar drop is not this thing. Woo! Right. Breaching security. Wow, this next thing is uh, big. Oh, that's if you did the initiation test. Telling me I have to do it. Water. Coffee. Glow stick lasts for hours, so right out. Better than wasting my batteries. Spin trap. Here. Hey, Blondie. A lot of books. Hi, Brian. Didn't know anything like this on the Cintranet. The digital library of the company is a collection of more than. Wow. I like to spend my free time scanning and debugging the material. I was just now analyzing in detail the hexa hammer you brought me earlier. Do you know that clothes deal with the devil, which is have to drink his blood? I think I found a clue. Found this. Where did you get it? I went to human resources on the fourth floor and there was a giant mouth on the wall. She said she was my friend and wanted me to help me hunt down the witch. What? What? You told her you were a hunter? No, I didn't tell her anything, but she already knew. I don't know how to put into words, but I feel like I was talking to the witch and everything about her gave me chills. Hmm. The, the girl looks sus suspiciously like Sintra. Do you know who they are? Yes, it's the Sintra family. Sintra Core was created in 1951 by Wa Sintra, and the photo besides the patriarchy, his wife shown me, I think I said that wrong, and his daughter, Ray Sintra, up here. You have a certain resemblance to her, don't you? That's correct. According to company records, Ray Sintra died at the age of 11. The family was so saddened that when I was made, they wanted to honor her memory by making her me in her image and likeness. So who's the person with the burned face? Because of her height and dress, she could be another girl of similar age, but I'm sure the family didn't have any more descendants. It's possible she's a friend of Ray's, but it's impossible to identify her from this image. Maybe talking to someone in the family might help? It's a great idea, but I'm afraid there's no one left alive. The last relative of the Sintra family died in 1983. Are there other clues they can't Why did the witch give you this picture? Well, she didn't really give it to me. She used it as a trap to get me to approach her so she could attack me. I managed to trick her into the picture. I don't know if it might be another trap, but at the same time, it's the best lead we have. Right. You need to get information on the Sintra family. We need to find out who that other girl is. She said they're all dead. The remains of the Sintra family are stored on the 8th floor. I'm sorry, what? Head over there and try to find out what you can. It means yes. I'm gonna go check it out. I know what it means, Brian, but I noticed a change in your attitude. You told me you went to Human Resources, didn't you? What were you doing there? Uh, well, I was helping Kate, a partner from the Hive. Is she your girlfriend? No, she's not. She's someone I've been to lobby this morning. Today's her first day, too. <laughs> well... 
let's talk about Cole Dumont. His means have been organized to boost productivity and emotional. What's the company? He sent me, he sent me a task. Supposedly I have to make a friend on the fourth floor and I ask you to prioritize the elimination of the witch. Motivational tasks are not mandatory. Don't forget what we hired you for. You called me Brian before and now you're called me Mr. Pasternak again. Probably. Sorry about the mistake. No, no, call me Brian. Sounds like my father. On the outskirts, the first name is always used for younger people, not the surname. Debugged error. As you wish, Brian. No. I'm go now. No, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to leave. Hi. 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 Oh my God! You got sleep in your eye, baby. Okay. So, this guide is telling me about the initiation tests and surveillance floor, but I'm like, from the looks of it, this game wants me to go to the fifth, seventh floor, which I have no problem doing. Or was it the garden? Seventh or eighth? Such a weird sentence. Are you the goblin? I saw the witch too many times that he went blind. So I'm guessing the singing I'm hearing is the goblin? I know where the witch is. Since your family it became the most important capital city, may evil never follow you here and may you rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Is it smoke? Sound good. I wasn't expecting a freaking firefly to hurt me. Alright, good job, Tom. How do I get rid of this? Weird day at the office. It's like there's trees in my building. And then there was a naked man crying in a river next to a cemetery. <laughs> How was your day at the office, honey? Uh, uh, uh. Uh. 
let me tell you. No one knows the past of this madman. The goblin was controlling obsessive and ambitious until not long before now. Did I have a save? I feel very concerned. What is this? There is fire. Burn witch paper. Are you telling me this is how I save? Trust you on this. <laughs> Who's there? I'm the one who likes to smoke as much as he likes. Cheese. I'm the one who was blinded. I've seen the witch many times. I'm the one who's invisible because. Ooh. Ooh, that one I didn't hear. Hold on. Six garden. Yes, we did the family photo. We did the glow sticks because I was like, we'll see them. Say hi. All right, garden. There's a hidden path. River inside an office building. Mm -hmm. Push all three boxes. Me and the goblin. Spoken to all four NPCs so far, you should know the answers. I missed some. Um. You use magic. Now I'm a madman, but I was. Ooh. Controlling, obsessive, ambitious. A creature with two bellies? Uh. Hello? Pa pa pastor eunuch i'm sorry but who are you then do you live here that hair you're invisible and your eyes oh my you don't have eyes you're gonna kill me <laughs> calm down calm down karma mr patis <laughs> you, you ask me a lot of questions you look goofy you have to take your life with a soup spoon full of sugar In these dark times the human being is a slave to time everything is important that's urgent run run i catch you Enjoy the moment, old friend, like me, here under a tree with my cigar and a nice piece of cheese. To while away the afternoon, the paradise of the yum yum. Who are you? Oh, I think I'm an employee of the mega corporation called Centropork. I'm not really sure. I lost my memory a few months ago when I went completely mad. I don't remember my mother or my name either, but your fellow government officials call me the Forest Goblin. Although I'm not a forest, and this place isn't a real goblin. <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, I do magic with products. Yeah, with barcodes. <gasps> barcodes, you say? When I removed myself from the office, I took refuge in this lovely, lonely garden and began to per perceive the magic that surrounds the manufactured objects of our consumer-led society. As the old proverb says, only when you walk away from the lights of the big city can you see the stars at night. Okay. Yeah, they're barcodes. To demonstrate what you're saying. You don't have any barcodes or some Mr. Packaging of some product you don't need? I have an empty cereal box. Cereal boxes are super powerful. The most powerful breakfast, well above waffles or croissants. Let me look this barcode a little bit. Mm -hmm. I see. This code corresponds to the magic of poisonous gas. <gasps> Oh, you tell me I'm immune to poisonous gas. This contract you see lying in the stone will allow you to breathe in toxic environments full of farts. I can make you a copy if you give me two witch's paper as hostages. Ah, death has come. I almost forgot to tell you. I also sell blank witch papers. Oh. Yes, I will buy it. Oh, I sell the... Oh. Thought there'd be like one slice of cheese each. Okay. Jesus Christ. I don't want to talk about it. I saw the witch eight times. It always happened the same way. First, anxiety. You want to run away. You don't know why. Second, the lights go out and you feel the hair 
thick around you. A weight on your shoulders. Third, the hiss that sticks like a pin in the ear and a kiss. Like someone's kissing your cheek. At first I tried to hide or run like the others. Then I stopped. She didn't really want to kill me. She was tortured. She always made the comrades around me disappear. She left me alive. Every time I saw her, it drove me crazier and crazier. I gouged up my eyes the last time she visited me and I came to live here. I haven't seen her since then. No, if I knew, I wouldn't forget. I always thought that, I don't know, it could be anyone. Oh, is this him just explaining it? Okay. Cool. Anything about the cemetery? It's where the witch lives. What? No. No? Noise. Please, it's important. I pushed the gate and I heard a scream and I think I saw something. Would she be the witch? I don't know. Well, make up your mind! How many... I have six of those. Hold on. How many cheeses? Yeah, give me the witch paper. Yes. Right? Because now we're immune. Be sure to purchase it. I did. Alright. Anything else in here? Nope. Oh my god, am I in the bathroom? Is this a shortcut? This is a shortcut. Apparently, I can get a VHS tape. me. Most, most people don't think to check inside a toilet. I mean one of them. Despite all the games we play, it's like, you know they hide stuff in here. It's also like, hmm. Spoke to one earlier? Oh, I did not. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that. Return to Office E to speak with Sosa. I don't know. I guess if I was following along the guide, but. Yeah. Let's see if Sosa will give it to me now that I have a VHS tape. <gasps> Kitty cat! It's beautiful. Doesn't hurt at all. Club. B. It's the game tell. Not the game, but the guide. Up. Oh. Do I even want to know? Four. Okay, he went down a floor. Blood? Okay. 
Okay. <gasps> Dry noodles. Oh, heck yeah. got for me. Who gave me these pills? A miracle cure. Sure. Surprise part in the canteen later. Are you tell me I need to go to the canteen now? under desks now. So do I go to the canteen or do I go to four to follow Hugo as the frog? You must unlock these trophy achievements before completing Dot Matrix's lair. Ah. Well, yes, that's fine. Well, I do have the ability to go through poison gas now. That means I can go back to the hive, right? Which is where our frogman went. Oh, God! Oh, are they still here? Yeah, they're still here. Gotta go. Why are you green? Why are you... Why are you green? I don't like that. zombie so do I do I have to go back I think I have to go back the way I came <sighs> okay never mind don't go in front of them go behind so drink some coffee because I have a feeling you're gonna get attacked remember they're still patrolling Quickly, it's over there. They can spit, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> ah, that's the way I need to go. Just bear with me. 
Yeah, I think once we do this, we'll probably stop. Huzzah! Now I can look at all these safely. I wonder if a pencil would work with the zombie barking guys. area no what is the I'm guessing you're the guy with the, the booze hey Mika welcome to my office my name is Swervy my name is Brian hello Brian how's life better this is a bar are you selling alcohol at work this you mean my office no nah, of course not it's just a regular office cubicle why do you say that because of the bar, the bottles of alcohol, the music. You're even drinking a pitcher of beer right now. No, this isn't beer, it's... Hey! That's much worse. Ah, just kidding. You got us. We turned my cubicle into a bar. We couldn't stand corporate work or that stench out there. This was our way out. You mean you and that monkey? Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced you. This is... Sharapova. She gives me a hand, pouring beers, and is the only one who remembers the cocktail measurements. But tell us, what brings you here? It's my first day and I'm exploring the building. The fourth floor is huge. You must be tired. Do you want a drink? A bit of a chat? I'll give you a penny for your thoughts. Thanks, but I'd rather not drink alcohol. It doesn't sit too well with me. All right, you're underage. No, I'm not. It's just that we're on the clock and this company is full of monsters, so I need to be on high alert all the time. That's right, this company's cursed. Do you know Forrest Kaysen's number theory? Forrest Kaysen? I can tell you, but you have to have a drink first. See that soda machine? I've rigged it to be cheaper than the regular ones. Every time you buy a soda, I'll tell you more about Forrest Kaysen and his number theory. Cheers to the bottle. This is what we need, apparently, for the water breathing contract. Da, 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 barcodes. Of course, you need two pieces of paper. We'll allow you to swim in underwater areas without needing to replenish your oxygen supply, essentially allowing you to swim indefinitely. This will come in very handy in the later portions of the game. So, and the whole beer thing is like, if you buy, I think it's like, they said it's like 800 some credits worth, which is like 11 facts you get an achievement. And I'm like, I'm not worried about achievement. I gotta save my stuff. Hello? Hunter. Ah, oh, sweet. I shouldn't get too close to the witch's cauldron. It seems to emanate an ancient resentment. If I want to explore further, I will do so from here and carry the dagger with me for protection. But I should start storing things in the hidden floor. I'll leave the tadpole out of it. I don't want anything to happen to him. Signed, R.C. Tadpole. Well, we got a thing for third floor and fifth floor, because fifth floor can take us to Goblin. Third! Third floor, third floor can take us to uh, our friend. Shit. Okay, gotta get back to the elevator. Trying to the best way to do that. Go, 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 go. Honestly, I want to go hang out with my bro first, because he gives me upgrades, which are pretty sweet. I have another piece for you, my friend! Got another one. So you'll find Groovy. You're gonna wig out. You got a lantern. Is that a flashlight? Duh, it's a lantern. The main difference with normal flashlights is that these have a wider, circular beam of light. The others are great for exploring hallways. These are cool for open spaces. Oh. There's a little problem. Lanterns run batteries like other flashlights, but the difference is that they consume them twice as fast. So not super great, but could be great. Right. Who the fits? 
floor. And then, of course, the lantern, which we just did. Which I guess if you have the lantern running through the fog now is going to be easier. Will it keep the fireflies away? Or is they just forever come after you kind of vibe? Hello, good sir. I don't have any cheese for you. But, got a bottle with a barcode. Let me just squeak this. I right, breathe underwater and refill your office once it runs out. <gasps> Like, indefinitely refill my office water? Because I'll just keep chugging that. Alright, what am I at? I have five. Okay, so I'm doing good. Doing okay. Alright. Da, 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 da. Water cooler cabinets. Ink cartridge. You'll be introduced to a new enemy, the poisoned employees. These foes can damage you by puking on you, but they only attack directly in front of them, so stay behind them or to their sides. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah there we go. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna head to my office real quick, because the way he said that contract is if my water cooler is empty, it gets refilled. So... Shut you up. Can I not shut you up? That's not. We would be like, hey, it's a cool offering, right? Water? Look at all this water! Health back, man. I'm trying. Take a peek. Okay, well, at least we got the one, right? Alright, so fourth floor and then the direction we did go the first time. My batteries. How much batteries do I have? Seven. Okay, I have a decent amount. Sweet, I can shove them and just put them in a quarter. Where I came from. Hold on. No. This is where I came from. 
What did I move? I moved something. I was like, I hear, I hear footsteps. Got it. Ah, fuck. Dry noodles. Where do I go? It seems to be a dead end, no? Okay. Freeway junction. Oh, okay, well I haven't gone the top way yet. Me, don't hurt me. God, I'm so angry. Probably not. that. Alright. I feel like here's a good place to save. Honestly. Because the reason I keep doing a lot of this is like I'm hungry. I'm like my stomach is mad at me. <laughs> so we're gonna save here. We got a decent amount done. There's still oof. Oof, a whole lot to do for this level. And then, like, let's see. One. Wow, we- this is still first day of the job. Like, look- look at- look at all this. Yeah, this- it's- it's fine. This is a good stopping point. <laughs> so. We'll, uh- <laughs> I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. It's like, oh, that's that's way longer than I anticipated, but cool. I will get that edited for you. Ooh, and I should be dropping the Tattletale highlights video today, so keep an eye out for that. But thank you, everyone, for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and oh, ooh, I won't see y'all till Saturday, because I have a film gig on Friday. So, Zeus Mossy. Bye-bye.